we're ready for our fourth video of spelling German words. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the letter W as it is pronounced in German as it sounds like the letter V. And uh, we'll also talk about the letter W in this list of words here where the W sounds like the English W because we've Americanized the pronunciation. We also need to talk about the letter V, which in German sounds like the letter F. This word has been Americanized. It still sounds like a V. This one is pronounced the same way they pronounce it in German. It sounds like an F. Then to confuse things a little more, we have a bunch of German words where the F sound is spelled with the letter F. Uh, all that could be confusing, but I'm sure if you listen to this video several times and with some practice, you'll be able to straighten all of this out. First of all, the, the W sounding like a V. This word is Vedel. It's a skiing term when you zigzag back and forth as you're going down the hill. You call that a Vedel. This is Weimaraner. I kind of doubt that the pronouncer is going to say Weimaraner, but he might. So be aware of it just in case. A Weimaraner is a type of German dog, a very handsome looking dog, I think. Striking colors. This one is Wagnerian. It refers to the most famous German opera composer, Richard Wagner. So anything that sounds like it could be done by Richard Wagner, they call it Wagnerian. This is the word Weissnicht Wo that has that V sound twice in the word. We talked about that word already. Here's Edelweiss. We talked about that word before, too. Uh, now to the words where that have been Americanized. The W sounds like a W. This is liverwurst. Uh, the Germans are going to say liverwurst. In fact, they're going to emphasize the U sound. As opposed to us in America, we make the UR, the IR, the ER, and the OR. We make them all sound the same. We say er, worst. But the Germans are going to emphasize that U. They're going to say wurst. If you're confused or you don't know which one to say, W-E-R-S-T, W-O-R-S-T, and so on, um, think Wurst, and then you'll have it. Uh, this one, or liver Wurst, is a sausage that's made out of liver. This is Bratwurst. As they would say in German, we say Bratwurst. Brat is a kind of meat that has no waste to it, so they use all of the meat and they make a sausage out of it called bratwurst. Uh, then we have Rottweiler. Uh, the Germans would say Rottweiler. Rottweiler is a, again a kind of dog. Uh, I was lucky enough to make a stop in the city of Rottweil. They've, they're very proud of their famous dogs and have statues to them all over the city. I thought that was kind of cute. This is what a real Watt, Rottweiler looks like. It's uh, kind of a mean-looking guard dog, and they can have a bad temper, but otherwise they're pretty good dogs. Uh, then we have wanderlust. That is the need to wander all over the planet, uh, perhaps choose a different place to live than the place that you've grown up in. That's wanderlust. Here's the dance called waltz. Moving on then to the V words, this your, the pronouncer is going to say verboten. An alternate pronunciation would be fairboten. So if you're not sure if that is a V or a W, ask him for the alternate pronunciation. He should give you fairboten, and then you'll know. Otherwise, uh, you might get it confused because I just told you the V sound, V, is spelled with a W in German. Uh, here we Americanize the pronunciation, leave the V spelled with a V. So remember that one. Here we have four laga. Oh, by the way, verboten or verboten means it's forbidden. Uh, this is four laga. Four laga is another skiing term. I'll move it here where you can see four laga. You're leaning forward as you're going down the hill. You, if By now you may have noticed that there are an awful lot of skiing terms uh, that we have borrowed from German. That's because uh, 
there's some places where the zeitgeist of the area is skiing. Notice how I work that vocabulary word in there. Uh, Colorado, for example, they do a lot of skiing. In upstate New York, they do a lot of skiing. And so they're going to borrow German terms for that. Vorlage, leaning forward as you ski. Now the V or the F sounds like an F. Uh, in Feldspar, that's kind of a rock. Uh, Fife, that's uh, that musical instrument, a small flute. Schadenfreude, we've had that word before. And Fräulein. Freilein also is an interesting word because I'm going to talk about the AU sounding like ow, but in this word the AU sounds like oi because it has the those two dots above the A. That's called an umlaut. Um, we don't have an umlaut in English, and you don't need to pay any attention to it when you're spelling the word. Just spell it AU. Uh, the ending of the word line is very common in German words because that means a small or miniaturized version of the original. So a Frau is a married woman. A Fräulein is a miniature version of that. Usually refers to a young girl and now even it refers to any woman who's not married. She's a Fräulein. That ends the uh, fourth video on spelling German words. Good luck.